Hi, in this video, um, I'm going to be servicing the 7HT mag. So this is pretty much all I need to get this job done. Um, so I'm just going to crack on with it. Uh, first things first, I need to make some space over here. So I'm reusing this pen real grease, which I bought from Tackle Shop. It's only like a couple of quid. So I thought, you know what, I'll give it a try. Um, in this video, I'm also going to be upgrading the drags to these Carbon Tech. Um, the Carbon Fiber Drag Washers by Smooth Drag. Uh, I actually bought these from, from Black Dog. Um, I've got them on my other reel and they're actually quite, they're actually quite nice, actually they're quite smooth. Uh, and for that, I'm going to be lubricating these with this uh, Carl's Universal Reel Star Drag Grease. Um, I'm not going to be doing the rest of the reel in this grease. I am actually going to be using pen because um, I have used this and I did notice a bit of oxid oxidization going on. So basically it went a bit darker shade of brown. Um, I'm not sure whether that's how it's supposed to be. But anyway, uh, I'm going to use this anyway because I like this stuff. So anyway, let's crack on with this then. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is to remove the actual middle bit there so let's move the handle sorry about the lighting I'm just obviously new to all this uploading videos so he's gonna have to bear with me on this one so there's three here there's one there there's one there and there's another one right there all I need to do is just get those opened up first. These are actually quite tight. So let's get these removed. Now this is a reel that I bought second hand. Um, so I'm going to give this a service. Now I like servicing this in, in section, like section at a time. So I am going to remove this and put this out of the way. This bit here as well, I am actually going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to concentrate on this bit here, first of all, getting this serviced. So I mean, so far, it's actually, it's actually quite, it's okay, but you know, for my own peace of mind, so I know they're all being serviced. I'm actually going to service this myself. So anyway, First things first, let's remove the handle. So first of all, there's a little screw here. All I do is just remove that first of all. I'll know if this has actually got um, one of them pinion supports in as well, which I don't think it has, but you never know, I might have it. So what I like doing is I like placing everything in order that I actually take everything off, just so that it's easier to put back together later on. This, yeah, that's just hand tight, that's great. Sometimes you might, might need a like a spanner to go in there, I think it's a size 10, uh, size 10 spanner that takes. That basically removes that. Now, I'm not going to put this down there yet because what happens is that screw first comes off, then that, then that. So I know from past experience that that is the order and I am going to actually have to put this on. I'm going to have to put this knot, then I'm going to put that on top and then put it, put that little screw on. So that's the order. So yeah, there's no pinion support in there as you can see. Uh, it has been. Looks like it has actually been serviced. This is quite a bit of oil there. Which is not a bad thing really. Now there is like a little, um, I don't know what you call them, whether it's a C-clip or, or, well, I don't know what the hell it is, but it's one of them little annoying ones anyway that's quite fiddly to get out sometimes. So what you do is, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a C. 
see there. So what I'll do is put that in there, put my thumb on, on top because I don't want it to go flying away and not being able to find it. There it is. That's a little badger right there. Take that off, put that right there in order. Then there's this little washer. That one there. That goes there. Now the handle can come off. The handle just comes off like this. There we go. That there. Then there's this little. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know what the hell this is there for, but it's going to come off anyway. And as you can see, it goes like that. It is like a little bend in there. Let's just put a bit more bend in. There we go. Oop, there we go. Put that there. Now, next job is to take this. A little bit of crunching noises there. Probably a bit of sand in there. Take this off. Yeah, oh, that's a bit of grit there. And this drag, star drag comes off. And then there's two little washers over here. And oh my god, they're actually in the wrong way around. They're not actually in the right way. If you can see that. I know just by looking at that, it shouldn't be like that. That's not how they should be. So whoever's put this in has obviously not put it in the right way around. Show you how they should be. Oh my god. They are actually a bit of a mess. That's how it should be. So I'm gonna put them right there, but just take them out as as you're removing them. I mean, it's best just to, you know, as you take them out for them. But I know that's not how it should be. There is like a bearing right there that can come out, but I'm not gonna take that out. Now all this over here, this line here, this is all for the handle assembler. Now I am going to remove this thing here, put that start of the line, there we go, that's done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open this up here. I'm going to start another line for this as well because this is the actual I think this is where the clutch and the gears are so you just remove them two so just remove that one and that one I'm trying to show you you know, so if you're doing it for the first time, it's I'm trying to make this as simple and and informative as possible. Uh, I mean, I'm no way like a you know professional at this job. Um, this is just something from trial and error that I've actually uh, learned how to strip these reels and put them back together. Um, this is not my job. This is just something which is just something I enjoy. I thought you know what, I'll put a video up just just so that so you guys out there can see how it's done um so now to remove this what i do i put my finger on top here and i hold this and then i just lift it up lift this prize it away from this bit here so just lift it up like that there we go and then that just just come off slowly there we go that's that assembly there and the bearings has fallen out this bearing here. This bearing was obviously put in 
like this. Oh yeah, I forgot something. There is like a little washer here as well. And this bit here. This is actually a washer. I'll put that right down there. That goes there. And you know what? I'll just put this there as well. So we know all that's done. So this is like one part of the um, piece of the jigsaw. I'm going to put that right there. Now this bit here. That actually looks okay. That's actually quite clean. I'm happy with that. Looks like it has actually been serviced. Hmm. Right. So next job what I'm going to do is. I am actually going to remove these. And what I'm going to do is, if you can see, I've got them like that there. And this plastic bit here, I think they call it a yoke. But before I take that yoke out, let's just take this main clutch thing out. under there, there it is. Push her in there. This bit here is all your drag. I am going to change this. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this. I'm going to put that aside for now. I am going to remove this yoke as well somebody's obviously services but they've not really done a good job because there's a lot of gunk in there oh my god look at that this yoke needs to come out so what i do is just there we go i'm just going to leave this as it is and just put that put that between these two just so that I know in what direction. This obviously goes over here, which is that goes there, that goes there. So I'm just trying to, you know, just a rough picture of how it actually fits. Now, this washer here, I am going to take that out as well, actually. I'm going to put that over there, just on top there. And there we go. So now this has all been washed. Well, actually not, sorry, I beg your pardon, it's not being washed. This has actually all been stripped down now. Uh, now I can get prepared to actually strip all this old grease off. Um, there is a few things you can use to strip the grease. Um, what I tend to do is I just put it in like soapy water, warm soapy water uh, with a toothbrush. And just just very, very gently agitate it. Not too much, you know, you don't want to be agitating those springs so them springs go all wonky on you. You know, just very, very gently, just give it a little in warm soapy water, uh, dry it, dry it thoroughly. Um, and then what I tend to do is get a bit of 3-in-1 oil. There's a bearing inside the middle there. I spray that with the 3-in-1 oil. And then what I do is I get this pen with a bit of with a you know little brush. I just put it in all over there. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wash this and obviously re-grease that up. This bit here I need to change the need to change the drags in this, so I am gonna be doing that. Uh, but in order to do that, this bit here can get stuck. Like it has over here, as you can see, that needs to come out. Sometimes you can put a bit, a bit of force on it, it won't come out. And if it doesn't come out, that's fine. What you do is, you get a little file. A 
And all you do is you don't file the bits where the threads are. As you can see, the threads are on this side. If I do it here, it's flat. And I'll just clean that off here. When it's flat here, here, what you want to do is you want to gently file it. This bit here, this side, and the opposite side. Just gently. You don't want to take too much material away. Just very, very gently. Just one, two, three, four. Let's see if that's enough. There we go. Voila. That I'm just going to put there. And these are the drags. Okay. I'm going to move this out of the way for now. Oh, broken drag. Oh, broken drag. What are the chances of that, eh? Good job I've actually... Good job I ordered some new ones. So, right, okay. So, I'm going to take put this in order. So, let's do it this way. You. Then, obviously, you. Then, you. Another broken drag. Wow. These are well and truly had it. You. Ooh, come out, come out. You. And then you. Then obviously you go on the end. And then there's this other drag washer here as well. There we go. That's how it is. Now I'm going to go away. I'm going to wash this. I'm going to wash this. I'm going to wash these. Uh, what do you call them? Um... These washers, these um, metal ones, and obviously the gear there as well. So I'm going to wash that, wash that, wash that, wash that, wash this, and then give this a good clean, get all the grease off, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so I've cleaned the, um, the bits, and I've left them to dry for the time being. And what I'm going to do is now, I'm just going to get the new drags, which are these ones here again. Uh, they're the Carbon Tech, Car Carbon Tech, Carbon Fiber Drag Washers by Smooth Drag. Like I says, I bought these from um, Black Dog. And let's get them out of there. So these are the drags. So all I do is, I just basically match them up. So put them underneath the, the old old ones. Right, okay, so there's two big ones and there's one small one, so there we go, that's how it is. So that's big, that's second big one, and that's a small one, so they're going this way. So all I do is these I've already washed and dried, um, and in these uh, carbon text ones, you do actually get four washers. So this is the fourth one. This can get really confusing because you think, oh my God, where the hell does this go? It doesn't go anywhere here. But remember the one that I pulled out from under the actual clutch? That one, the red one. That actually replaces this. Put that down there. Right, so now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the, the drag on the clutch. So I'm just going to use this Carl's... Um, 
Universal Reese and Star Drug Reese. So just get the tooth, just get the, um, not toothbrush, get the uh, brush and then just, you do want to really, really lightly coat these, you know, you don't want to go overboard with these. So all I do is I just, all I tend to do myself is I just look, coat the, the metal parts. This one here, obviously, I do put quite a bit. There we go. That. Then all I do is just drop them in. Just lightly cut the top end. Oops, I've done this wrong. Lightly caught the top end of the metal bits. Come on, man. And then there we go, that goes down. Same thing again. Not doing the actual drags themselves because this will actually go straight onto the drag itself. Sometimes you cannot over lubricate them. It's not a bad thing really to be honest with you, but look, this is just the way I do it. <clears throat> and it's okay, it works for me. And all I do is let's go around that. Top. That's a drug rebuilt. Push it all down, all in. Close it off and out. Now I'm just going to end the video here because uh, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the rest of the items that are um, that are getting dried. So I'm going to, obviously these are no longer required because they're, they're, oh my god, they're so thin. They've got the right good thing to them. Get rid of all these drags, put them all away. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to you guys uh, once the rest of the bits are dried. Okay, so I'm back now. So that's all been washed and dried. I've actually tried something new in this, which I don't actually recommend doing, but I actually washed this in a bit of petrol that I had left over in a can. And it actually stripped the grease off right within like 30 seconds. Um, I don't know how petrol will react with, um, with plastic bits, because there are plastic bits at the bottom. So I was a bit cautious. I thought, you know what, I'll just do a quick one. And yeah, it's actually come out really well. Then I washed it in a bit of soapy water afterwards. Put a bit of um, three in. Well, actually, no, I've not put any oil down there. Actually, I should put a bit of oil down there in them bearings because they're actually totally, totally dry. Um, I am going to use a bit of rocket fuel cause just because I've got some. I usually use three in one oil, but I'm just going to use this for now. So, just so that I can avoid getting into a lot of mess. Just put in a couple few drips here and there, you know, around it. Just. Swivel it around. No, don't get in there. Don't get in there. I don't want, don't want any oil on anywhere there. So, right, okay. So, put that oil out of the way for the time being. So, now, obviously, I've just finished this drag off. Um, what I need to do is, I do need to put a bit of uh, Carl's grease, um, obviously, down there. So, I'm just going to. Get, I've actually washed this brush for ready for the for the pen pen grease, but 
because I forgot to do this. Do this now. A tiny bit on there. All the way. And then I suppose I should just put a bit on. Top here as well. Do, do, do. There's a corner. So, yep, just dab it on lightly. Right, that's done. So now I can put this drag on. That's gone in. Great. Then this goes on top. Right, okay, so now that is done. Uh, I've actually washed these bearings out and a bit of lighter fluid and then caked it in a bit of three in one oil. Um, so right, so that's now made up. Um, what I need to do now is I need to get the uh, pen grease all ready. So there's a pen grease. What I'm going to do is put a bit on there. It's going to work from there, to be honest. So first things first. What I'm going to do is. I'm just gonna just do this real first. This bit here. Let's put it there so you can all see how I do it. Not really rocket science to be fair, just make sure you know you get it in the nooks and crannies and you know all the moving parts. I'm actually going to put some in there as well. Actually, brilliant putting on with the with this paintbrush, little artist paintbrush. It's only cheap. I bought them for a pound shop, and they're about five, six brush uh, in a pack. Um, so you can't really go wrong for that much. And then just make sure you lightly coat everything else, all the metal parts. Just do them all. And what I like to do is I like to go under as well. You know what? Because sometimes right under, just get them in places where you know it's not quite easy to to get into. Same thing here. Just get right in there. You don't really need a lot of this grease, really, to be honest. There we go. I think... I think that's okay. I'm happy with that. Just a little bit more of a good look, then. Go on, why not? <laughs> Just because I can't. I'm going to get them right into these springs, actually. Okay. Now I'm going to put the yolk in. Look 
remember rightly, I think this might go something like, like this. Before I do that, the most important part, put some of this. I think this is some sort of opinion. Goes in the yolk. They call that there a yolk. Right. Okay, happy with that. If I remember rightly, I think this goes like this. And this little thing here grease all this up as well. <clears throat> Remember that little washer that was gonna I'm just gonna give it a wipe with this tissue and then just it's kind of a bit of a messy, fiddly job to be honest. Just put that there and then just drop it in. Put a bit of grease on that as well. Now, this thing here, this thing here, obviously goes into there. But in order to put that in, what I try to do is I put it in like this. So, the bottom track. I put it in like that, and then drop it in, and make sure the both holes are in, and then just Drag washers have come out. And then, yep, everything's moving as it should, as you can see there. Right, I'm happy with that. Um, what I need to do now is I need to obviously put everything back together. But before I do that, I'm just going to get a bit of this, a bit more of this pen grease. And very carefully, I'm going to hold this in place. And I'm just going to, this gear, I'm just going to, just going to do that. These are the gears, these actually need. Looking, I am gonna get a bit more of this pen grease out. Hopefully, I don't think I'll need any more, but if I do, I can always put more in. And just put it in. Oh, sorry, no, he can't see it, but he can see it now. There we go. 
don't know if you can hear that, I do apologise there, the neighbour's kid's just absolutely going ape out there. <laughs> right, okay, so that's pretty much done. I'm just going to get the cover, so I'll just bear with me two minutes. So I've washed this as well, um, give it a right good wash and then what I did is sprayed 3 in 1 oil because uh, there's bearing inside there, I don't know if you can see it, that blue thing, I think it's anti-reverse bearing or some sort, I'm not sure, but there is also a bearing in the middle there, um, just put 3 in 1 oil, just absolutely cake it, just to make get rid of any possible um, you know, any possible, um, what would you call it, moisture that you might have there from washing it. So these obviously springs, they just go in like that, they just sit in like that. I'm going to put a bit of pen grease on that as well. And I think that is it, I just need to put this back together now. So, this just obviously drops in like so. Oh, I hate fiddly jobs, I'm telling you. There you go. Right. Great. These screws. Just gonna give them a oh, just a quick wipe. I'm not gonna do anything to them. They're actually quite clean anyway. Um, I'm just gonna close this up. I'm gonna be careful not to scrape the real body with the screwdriver. Let's close them both up. And this one here as well. I'm not going to do them too tight. I'm just going to nip them up for the time being. Oh my god, I've got grease all over my hands. Let's get this out of the way. Alright, next thing is this. I'm just going to. A wipe. Give a wipe. I've not washed these. I don't think there's any need to. They're actually quite clean. You can do if you want to. You can actually wash this as well. There's a um if you can don't know if you can see, but that is like a copper, uh like a washer shim in there. Uh behind that I think there is another washer. I can't remember rightly, but you can give that a good wash as well if you want. If you've got a lot of sand grit and all sorts, I do recommend washing these. But, I mean, this really is quite fairly uh, in good condition. Um, there's hardly any grit in this. Uh, it looks okay, so I'm just going to... I'm not going to bother washing this. I'm just going to put this on as it is. Like that. The reason why I took this off and then put it on now as well, because it, get, it doesn't get in the way when you're taking everything away, you know, apart. Um, but that's that. And then all we do is, this line, I don't know if you remember, we just work all the way back from here. So this washer here basically just drops in. Now, I don't know which way this goes, whether the bearings be on the top or whether they should be facing downwards. Personally, personally, I think I prefer them facing downwards. Um... I think they've got more protection if they're facing downwards. Otherwise, something can get in there. I'm not sure exactly how these bearings go, but you know what? I mean, they came out this way. I'm going to put them the other way. Like this. You see? They're not that exposed this way. Make sure you push these down right nice and solid. And then, as I'm going along, I'm just going to give these... A wipe down and then this washer just on top. I 
And then these two here, washers as well. Now, let's see which way these will be going again. I'm not happy with that. There we go, that's how it goes. Right. This Star Trek, I remember there was a bit of crunching there. So I'm going to give this a wash. I'll come back to you. Okay, so washed it. Give it a light coating of oil. And now I'm just going to put this back on. Um, yes. Right. A quick wipe. On. Same with the handle. Oh yeah, there are some um, bearings in here as well. Um, just gonna give them a quick spray um, as well. So I'll be back. Right, so that's all I did was obviously this is WD forty. I've got three in one spray. Just sprayed it, sprayed it all over. Let's grab the handle and just give it a spin like that. And yeah, that's pretty much all that needs to do into that. Um handle goes in there. Um now if you do have opinion support, then obviously you fit it about now. You would fit it now. Because I haven't got opinion support and this is totally, totally standard, um, we just do reverse whatever's there. So that goes in, and then the little C clip. Use a big, bigger screwdriver here. Give that up. There we go. Push it in. It goes in. Then oh. this. Line it up with the hole. What do you do is screw this in, in place. And there we go. So that's all done. Chest the drag, just tighten it all up. Yep. Just loosen the drag up. 
So this is complete. Okay, so now this is ready to assemble with the rest of the reel. I'm now going to move over to this bit here. Um, you can also do the bearings whilst you are doing this. The bearings are located one in there and the other one on this bolt. In this video, I'm not actually going to do the bearings. If you want to see the bearings, I have got another video where I change the bearings and I clean them. Um, you can watch that video. Um, but with this bit here, if you want to give this a good service, all you can do is, um, I'll show you. I mean, I don't think this needs doing because I've already cleaned. Yeah, I've already cleaned this out. But I'll show you now what you need to do. All you need to do is you need to remove these screws. First of all, put this on max. Because a max setting will leave this in a neutral. And what I mean by neutral is if you have a look over here, if you can see, I'm not sure whether you can see this right. There is a line, there's a notch there. And there's also a notch down there. Notch on top, notch on bottom. The both line. That is your neutral setting. And that is on max. Yeah, so now when you remove these plate, let me show you. Right, I'm just taking these off. So they're off. So now when you take this off, watch. Nothing. There we go. You can give that a clean, give that a wash, put a bit of grease down there if you want to. Um yeah. Um if you do want to give this a good clean, for example, if you do get a bit of um grit in there. Then what you can do is you can remove this. In fact, you know what? I'll show you. We'll give this a clean. Go on. Since this is a servicing video, I'll um I'll do, I'll do it all. So open this screw up. Oh that is really hard. What the hell? It's not supposed to be this hard, this. I'm going to share that if I'm not careful. <sighs> wow, what the hell? It's not supposed to be this. It's not supposed to be this hard, this. Hmm. Let me get a no screwdriver. Well, you know what I must say, that was that was really difficult to check it that off. Now, I'm not sure whether this is actually the right screw that should be here. Um I'm not sure whether that's the right one to be honest. You say it's the right one. What is it? Yeah, just comparing it from another reel that I've got, that is actually the right one. But yeah, I mean that that was really really difficult. Uh, it's not usually supposed to be that hard. It's supposed to come out quite easy. But anyway, uh, it's out. I might have been misthreaded. I'm not know. But anyway, it's out. So what you do is, um, once that comes out, you can just take that out. And there's a washer. Right there. That stops all the grip going in. And there's this like one of these springs. So what you can do is you can give this a good wash. Actually that does need a wash. I don't think that's ever ever been removed. So what I'll do is I'll give this a wash, this and this, and give it a light coating of grease and both sides. 
and then you can reassemble it again. So I'll go and wash it and I'll come back and then we'll reassemble it together. Right, I'm back. So it's all been cleaned, washed. Just squared a bit of oil in there as well. Hmm, interesting. So that's broken a bit from there. Well, anyway, so let's put this together now. So that goes in like that. And this goes on the inside, but before I do that, I'm just going to put a bit of grease on. Greasy grease. Some in there as well. There we go. See, and then the part to actually put this back, the screw actually back on it. So all we do is put the screw back. I'm actually going to use the other screw from the other one and see how that goes. Yep. So there is actually a problem with this screw here. There you go. It's going perfect now. And then just for a bit of protection, I'm just going to put some grease on top. So that's all done. This bit here, you can actually give this a good wash. Um, if you are going to wash this whole cage, uh, the way to do it is um, take the bearings out first of all. So let's take the bearings out. Let's do this. So I'm not going to clean the bearings because the bearings have already been cleaned um, when I've got this reel. I should wash the bearings out because they were working a bit tired. So I'll take them out. All you do is get a screwdriver. There is like a little clip in there. Yeah, that clip needs to come out, but you need to be careful that the clip doesn't actually go flying off somewhere. So I usually put my thumb on top and then just try and get into the underneath the clip and then just sorry, I can't really show you because but that's a clip right there. This one here, it holds the bearing in. So that's out. And then to take the bearing out, let me just get rid of this rod first of all. And to take the bearing out, what you do is I usually use a paper clip with a bit of a um, hook at the end. Just put it into the middle of the bearing and then just slap it out. Oh gosh, stuck on the magnet. That's a bearing. I'm not going to clean the bearing, but if you do want to clean the bearing, a bit of lighter fluid, pop that in the lighter fluid, give it a little swirl here and there, leave it for about 20 minutes, half an hour, uh, take it out, let it dry, get some of this rocket fuel once it's dry. I usually put one drop on this side, five minutes, turn it over, give one drop on the other side, and then just, just turn it, turn the bearing, uh, and that's it, done. But yeah, but going back to this, let me move everything out of the way. So going back to this, so obviously that is out. You can now actually give this a good wash um, in a bit of soapy water. Um, I mean, if you want to, there is a bit of magnet you can take out of here. To do that, all you do is you move this and then you can just... Oh, 
there we go that's out so this bit here you can actually remove this and give that to put it back in obviously just repeat what you did there's a lug let me see if you can see it first of all there's a lug just there and there's a lug on the bottom there them lugs need to line up with the notches there can you see them one notch two notch you line those up you line those lugs up in there with them notches when you put it back in and then it just falls back into place right okay so all washed all dried just a little bit of he's just drying over here okay so actually this has all been dried and well washed and dried i should say so now to put this back in there and then put the bearings back so yeah i need to line the lugs up so basically it goes in and the magnets always want to push it in the total opposite way but that's fine all you do is um see them there you just put your nails in there and then all you do is just line it man holding from the top and just line it up Ooh, that's a fidgety job it's a fidgety fidgety job fidgety fidgety. there we go it's gone in <clears throat> and then once it's in you will notice that That notch, that notch and that notch have lined up, so it's on the Mac position. Just make sure that, you know, it all moves, it's all in place. Which it obviously is. Um, then this bit here, which we've put back together again, it needs to be in the Mac's position, which it is. And then all we do is... together oh before I forget this rod needs to go back I'm just gonna give this a little wipe down there we go. Mm -hmm. this rod fell out so I'm just putting it back And then we just obviously just put these pull these back. But before I screw it back, I'm just gonna put some of that pin grease on. I say, God, I need some more. I need some more. Oh yeah. Where's my screwdriver gone? There it is. And just pass one down and two to go. Actually, I just remembered something. I have actually ordered some screws which are actually better than the manufactured ones um, from uh, what's it called black dog that's these here so I'm just gonna actually replace them with these ones on instead. Oh, it's falling out again. These are stainless steel ones. Mm -hmm. Oh 
screws I'm going to keep the original screws Do, 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 do. This goes in there. Actually, these old ones aren't too bad, you know. But anyway, I'll just put these ones on. Since I've got them anyway. Just tighten them up. Over tighten, just give them a good nip. If you want, just a tiny bit there. That is something you don't have to do, but there we go. So now the next thing is to put this bearing back in its arm. So just drop it in, push it in, get that clip, and then just pop it down there like that. And then you know a screwdriver. Just push it back in its hole. Where's it gone? Sometimes this can go in really easy and sometimes it can be really fidgety and at the moment it's actually being fidgety. But there we go. As long as you get one in, you don't want Make sure it's in. You don't want it to ping. You don't want it to be pinging out. So that's in. So there we go. So that's all basically done. Um, to take this bearing off, um, all you do is there is a pin. So basically, going going back. Sorry, all this section has been completed. There's nothing else to do here. Why does this keep falling off? Put that back in there. Yep, so that's all been done. Handle parts all been done. And what remains is just this part here. Um, I mean, this you can just give a quick wash. Um, there's all plastic parts in there. The only metal parts over here is obviously the main body. Um, there is a, a little C clip on top. Under the C-clip there's a washer, and under the washer there's a spring. Um, and then obviously the rest, this bit here is obviously, I think that's metal. That's what magnifuge system, I think they call it, that comes out. Just make sure that's all coming out, which it is. Um, you can give this a quick wash, and then just give it a light coating of oil, and that's it, you're done there. Uh, I'm not going to do that because everything seems to be working fine. I don't really want to mess with it. Um... I mean, if you do want to remove it, I can show you how to remove it. Uh, but on going on the other side where the bearing is, um, to remove the bearing, there is a pin that goes through. Um, you usually use small north pliers, which I like these. I use these, like these ones here because they're a lot simpler. What you do is I hold it, I put one, one underneath and the other on top there and then I just push the bearing then I push the rod out and once the rod comes out you can just grab it and take it out take the bearing out put it in a lighter fluid uh, same thing again uh, 20 minutes to half an hour give it a flush uh, take it out dry it I use yellow rocket fuel uh, dab on one side five minutes turn it over, dab on the other side, give it a little spin, put it back and then just reverse the process, put the rod back and you're done there. Um, if you do really want to remove this here, I will show you how to remove that. It's, it's not actually that bad. I mean that same paper clip that we're using, uh, what I do is um, I'll have like a V-shape on the top coming up like that. Like that. Then what I do is I put this under the under the C clip, but not like that under the C clip. If you can see that, hold that in place, and this bit underneath, just 
Oh, it's broken. I've done it that many times now. It's bloody broken. Look. So I'm just going to have to hold this like this. So, yep. Yeah, basically, hold this like that. And then you can remove the C-clip. Pop. Take the C-clip out. I'm not going to do this, by the way. Um, just going to finish off the video by putting the reel back together. Uh, anyway, remove the C-clip. Uh, then you can slowly get everything out. Now, the reason why I put this here, because if you remove the C-clip, everything's just going to ping, flying straight out, and you'll end up losing uh, possibly your washer, your C-clip, and the spring as well. So I usually use this just to keep everything under tension, so I can remove the C-clip. Once the C-clip's removed, everything underneath is under tension anyway, and then you can just put your finger on top, remove this, like that, and then take one thing out at a time. Give it a wash, give it a clean, whatever you need to do, and then put it back together. There is another way of speeding this reel up. Um, when you're putting everything back together, when you put this washer on, you can put an M5 washer in there as well. And by putting the M5 washer, uh, it will make the the magnifuge basically, it'll make it a bit retarded. So, uh, yeah, you, your, reel will, your reel will work faster. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. So that's pretty much on that side there, if you want to do that. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much it for servicing this reel and then just put everything back together. Loosen it off. And then And I totally forgot about these actually here, so I'm not, I'm actually going to chain those just before I finish the video. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much it, just servicing these reels. Um, I mean, the first time I did it, it was really, really daunting. Oh, my God. Um, it was really daunting. But you know what? Once, you, once you've done it, it's, it's not that bad. It's actually all right. I mean, I can strip one of these reels down now. And pretty much put it all back together again. Um, actually, you know what? I need to put. Some more of this pen grease. This pen grease is actually really good. I do like this pen grease. Because I went to a tackle shop. And it was just there. On the counter. I thought, hey, up, got to get some of that. And I did. I'm glad I did. It's only a couple of quid. Can't go wrong, really. Useful thing. I am looking to get one of those big tubs. They do want me big tubs. I think two ounce. I think that's a quarter ounce, that. But as you can see, you know, how much I've gone through. I've serviced one reel with, you know, hardly anything i've still probably got more than half left in there so two ounce you can imagine how long that will last um so let's put this one back where does it go it goes over here so like I said, these screws are from black dog he also services and repairs reels as well i mean Using him quite a bit recently, actually. And no, I'm not sponsored by him. At all. Just, you know, there are all the people out there that you can buy from. Um, I don't know who those people are, to be honest. Because multipliers is not something which I've used. I've only used multiplier during, well, last few months. So multipliers are quite new to me. This one goes in there. There it 
There we go. That's in. So let's check everything over. Screws tight. 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 Tight and tight. I feel so much smooth now. That's okay. And then these are obviously hand tightened. Tight. Oh. Tight. And now I'll just nip these up. There we go. Turn it. Don't overdo these. You will knuckle the whole thing. And as far as I'm aware, getting the side plates are not cheap. That's done. Oh, I feel so smooth. 